Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the like condition in SQL. So in this example, I'm going to query this AdventureWorks database and I'm going to query this person.address table. So I can just do a select all from person.address and this is going to give me everything in this table and I'm going to click on execute. So this will give me everything in this table. And let's say I want to filter it based on the city. So I can do where city equals Dallas. And it's going to give me the seven records. But let's say you're not sure of like what exactly the name is. And you're looking for um, and you're looking for like a specific letters or you're looking for like search patterns. So that's where the like condition comes in. It gives you the ability to like search for patterns. So let's say I know the like the city it starts with D or let's say if I want to pull like all the all the records where the city starts with D I can do the like statement. So so this is the syntax for the like statement. I can do something like where city like D and percentage sign. So if I do this it's going to search for all all cities that starts with D. So if I execute this now is gonna give me all the cities that starts with D. And I can even just, uh, we can even just look into uh, just one column, which is city, cause that's what we care about. And I can put like a distinct statement cause I wanna, I wanna just pull like distinct cities. So like unique cities that start with D. So if I execute this now, it's gonna give me all of them that start with D and I can even order them by the city so it'll be in it'll be ordered now so here I use the like statement to search for all cities that starts with D so in this syntax we have the D and then we have the percentage sign so it'll search for all cities that starts with D but if we put the percentage sign before D it's going to give you all the cities that end with D so if we execute this now, we are going to get all the cities that end with D. So all of these will end with D. So this is where we use the like statement. And let's say if you want to query it based on like cities that have the D word in them, you can just do the percentage sign on both sides and it'll just give you all cities that have D in them. It doesn't matter if it starts with D you because you will also have cities that starts with D as long as the as long as the city has the D letter in them, it's going to show you. So that's one of the things you can do with the like statement. You can put it on either side and we can also use like statement to determine if it's uh, what position the letter is on. So let's say if we do underscore a percentage. So it's going to give me all cities where the second letter is a and then ending it could be anything after that so if we have a percentage sign after that means it can be anything after that so the second letter in all of these will be a so if we do so it's gonna give me all cities where the second position is a and those that end with n so underscore gives you the position so this is one this is two so the second position should be an a and they end with n so if we execute this now so all of these cities will have A in the second position. So see, uh, Bad has uh, A in the second position. Same here, Carlton has uh, A in the second position and they all end with N. And so if you, you can do the same thing here. So you can also put, for example, if you're looking for Carlton, but you don't know the exact name, you can do something like AR percentage N. So now it's gonna give you all cities where the second and third letter are a and R and they end with N. So you're gonna see Carlton. So here the second and third letter are A and R. Same thing here, Carson and Warrington. Uh, A and R and then it ends with N. And you can also, let's say you wanna see all cities that is that end with N and they start with either H or B. So if you use these as square brackets, it's like a or statement. So it's going to give you all cities that start with either H or B and with N. 
So if you could execute this now, so you're going to see all cities that starts with either H or B. So see here, Berlin, it starts with a B and ends with an N. And if you go all the way down, Houston, it starts with an H, ends with an N. So this gives you like an OR condition and you can add like multiple letters here. Um, you can even do like say C. So it's going to give you all cities that start with either H, B or C. So H, B or C. So you have H, you have C, you have yeah, B and but they all end with N. So this is a very powerful uh, condition you can use in your SQL queries if you're searching for something. For example, let's say you're searching for a name, but you're not sure, but you know like what pattern it is. For example, if you're searching for someone whose name starts with M or uh, that ends with E, you can use the search criteria or you can put like multiple conditions in here just like I showed you. So it's a very powerful condition that you can use with your SQL queries. Let me know if you guys have any questions and thank you for watching.